Hello and welcome to another tutorial for the Cranes module. This time I will show you how to use the Morse code firmware that you can download from the GitHub. Once you have the Morse code firmware installed, the Morse module will send a gate signal that you can use either on a VCA or, an L or a filter to let through a oscillator, which will then create the Morse code signal. There are two different outputs of the grains module. One is the audio out here will actually send a clock signal, which is quite as fast, almost like a MIDI clock. At the moment, I'm using that internal clock to clock the Morse code, and the clock in the uh, firmware is, ex is expected to be into the audio input. The other output is from the digital out, and the digital out is sending a gate a trigger signal, which you can use on a VCA or a filter. And here I just patched an oscillator into the VCA, uh, which gives the sound. The output of the VCA then goes into my filter, and that is the uh, goes into my recorder and creates the Morse code. And this is how that sounds like. So what you hear here is the uh, Morse code that is encoded in the source code. And uh, this is what you will hear to, when you power on the system because uh, there is no memory on the grains. There's only what is in the source code of the firmware that you've installed. But you can change the Morse code that it's playing via a MIDI keyboard. So you can pl uh, change the Morse code while it is playing and that is actually quite a lot of fun and I'll show you how to patch that up just now. So in order to set up the MIDI programming for the Morse code, you have to uh, use two cables. The first one goes from the bus gate into input number one, and the second goes from the bus CV into input number three. Now it's really important to then also put the P1 onto the switch on in input one and turn it all the way to the right and on knob number three to turn it all the way to the left. So while doing that, you can then use a MIDI keyboard if you've connected it to your A modular to change the, the Morse code. So now you can see my keyboard and the screen hopefully. And you can see that I've opened a serial monitor. So I'm just going into the tool section, select serial monitor, and then you can actually see what the Morse code is that is being sent. On my keyboard, I'm using the arterial key step, and um, I have to put the octave minus button one, one down to access the two octaves with which I can control the, the Morse code settings. So first off, it would be really cool to delete everything. And for that, I'm using G or G sharp. And you can see on the screen, I'm slowly getting rid of all the Morse characters. And it also changes the Morse code as it's playing. So now there's nothing in the buffer anymore, so no Morse code, so time to add something. You get a DIT using the C or C sharp of one octave lower. And because it's looping, you get that staccato. Now I add a uh, DA with F or F sharp. This is not Morse code. I'm really only using, um, you know, <laughs> just rhythmic things. And you can add a pause using C or C sharp of an octave higher. So now we have a good pause in between. And of course, you can delete everything using G or G sharp. So 
this is how you can play around with mouse code with your MIDI keyboard. As I said, on my arterial key step, I have to take it an octave down, and then I can choose the two high octaves, um, or that would be probably, um, that would be the, the middle C here, and then one, one octave lower, and you choose C for the dit, F for the dars, and one octave higher C for a pause, and the G for deleting a character or deleting a sign. And that's how you can play around with it. And obviously, if you do know Morse code, you can make meaningful Morse code. But I really just played around uh, using some, doing some rhythmic things with it. And if you use the gate for that, obviously, you can create whole different sounds with it. And I will show you a few of the variations that you can do with that uh, just now. So, here I'm showing you a few different ways of how you can make that a bit more interesting. So, here I am using the output of the VCA is now going into a filter, into my SV filter, and the uh, CV of the filter um, is going into an LFO, but I'm currently not using it. Um, also, I'm taking the output of the grains module into a slew, so I can get a different, instead of the, the very hard-edged Morse code, I can give it a little bit of a twang. So you can hear that the slew is actually just rounding off the corners of that signal a little bit, which makes it a little bit more uh, musically interesting. And also because of the, uh, the filter output is going into a delay, and the delay is then going into my mixer, and the mixer is going into the multi-FX uh, unit. So now I can play around with that and get some interesting um, effects going. So the first one is just you know, um, changing the filter. Obviously, we can also turn on the LFO to do that for us. So the LFO is already connected, so I just have to turn up the CV control. A little bit of resonance. So now I'm getting a bit more interesting movement on the filter. And then let's turn up the delay a little bit. So we're getting a bit different rhythms. And then turning in the multi effects. I'm using the deep space.
And that is how you can use the Morse code, uh, one of the many ways of how to use it anyway. So you saw you saw playing around with it um, while it's playing is a lot of fun and can change the rhythmic quality of it. And if you add another rhythmic uh, movement or the filter to it, you can really open it up musically. So hope that was interesting and uh, please let me know and uh, if you have any questions and if you have any interesting songs that you make with the Morse code, please post them on the forum. I would love to hear it and I'd love to see you work with this firmware.